What's going on ladies and gentlemen, it's Dan here. I'd like to welcome you guys back to Red Dead Redemption 2. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this Let's Play so far, and if you are, be sure to hit that like button. It helps out a lot. Without any further ado, let's get into the video. Alright guys, so we're gonna head up here, we're in San Denis now, and we're gonna try and find, what's his name? See what happened to Jack, we don't know where he is, so we just know that this guy may have him. He could be in, judging from this, a few different locations. So let's check out the first one. Alright, here we go. Mission's over here, let's slow, slow down. Oh look, look at these fancy hitching posts. They got little horses on them. Alright, Shipper Brewery. First place to chat. Oh, stick them up, cowboy. Yeah, they'll have almost nothing to show for harvest. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, real funny, Dutch. Oh, I thought so. So, here we are in a strange land of papists and rapists. America's very own Gamora. This city's all of the same to me. So, how you get on? I've been asking around about Mr. Bronte. And from what I've heard, this establishment is our best lead, but I haven't had any joy in there so far. So, I should just give it a shot? I think so. Just keep it cool. You know me? I'll meet you back here or not. All right. Going for a drink? Funny you should say that. <laughs> well, you know how it is. I told him. I say that's the state of Lamont for you. Hey, America is doing a little French secret. <laughs> that's why we love it. Born and raised. Mm. Well, I'll get you in a second. Not unless we all get washed away. <laughs> I'll be patient. Let's see what happens. Happen. It ain't happened yet. <laughs> but let me tell you something. The rest of the states they lucky to have us. If it wasn't for us, they'd probably have run back to Britain with the tails between their legs at the first sign of trouble. You got that right. Now, how can I help? You look like a whiskey man. Sure. Dollar, please. Dollar? For a whiskey? Oh, that's the real stuff. From Scotch. So Scotch whiskey. Here, have one for yourself. Well, thank you. He's like, he's like a dollar, and he's got like 2,500 bucks in the bank. Can I ask you a question? Do you ever hear of a fella by the name of Bronte? <laughs> Who's asking? Me. I'm asking. No, leave it, friend. What do you mean, leave it? Look, I don't know what business you in, but leave it, friend. You and your pal that was in here before. Bronte? Angelo Bronte. Mr. Big, Mr. Italian, spaghetti eating, long streak of piss, big. And he makes my skin crawl. I'm so squally, a cocksucker. You know what I mean, friend? Where can I find him? Oh, well, I reckon you talk to them kids in the alley, they'll know how I get. I don't know about you guys, but that sounds like a setup. Oh, and friend, you will be careful now. Immigrants, they're not to be trusted. That's pretty racist. Anyways. Sorry, hey, officer. Careful, babe. Sorry about that, buddy. Come on now, this sulking doesn't become you. You always have to be right, don't you? I'm just giving you the correct use of the word. If you're I feel like this is, like I said, this is a setup. Hey. Hey, you got a cigarette, mister? Maybe. Huh? I'm looking for a fellow named Angelo Bronte. Italian. I know him. Everyone knows him. Where is he? We'll take you to him. What it'll cost. I reckon I can pay. Five dollars. Where does he live? New York? I'm an entrepreneur. If you don't want to pay, then I don't want to walk. Oh, man. Listen, my friend. Here. Come on. This away. Let's go, mister. You coming, Cleet? Dude, I'm gonna get robbed. Watch. Stay close. Easy to get lost around here. Dude, I'm gonna get robbed by this Cletus guy. You new to the city, mister? Pretty much. 
Don't worry, no one knows it as good as me and Cleet. Is that right? Hope you won't need his services, but you got the doctor on the corner there. Nice enough, fella. That's Baird and Schreiber on the right there. Famous bookstore. Not that I'm much of a reader myself. Now over here's a real piece of art. That's the Church of the Holy Blessed Virgin, mister. Model on the famous church in Toulouse, which is in France. You been to Toulouse, mister? No. We're Catholics here, mister. Ain't Baptist or nothing. My mama said they used to burn Protestants and all, but, uh... Bet they don't have nothing so fine where you come from, mister. Look at them fine Told you! Steeples. I, I knew it! How did I know that was gonna happen? Of course, it's just a big hustle. Bye, <laughs> Son of a... Here's my horse. Go, 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 go. There's a lot of money in there. Go, don't stop. What are you stopping for? Go. I gotta say, though, this, this city is pretty dope. Dude, I ran him over. You after that kid? How the shit went that way? Thanks for the help, friend. You know, I kind of miss old Bob. Hey, you see a kid about 14 years old run through here? Why, yes, we did. He went around the corner there. Thank you. Thanks a lot, mister. That's enough. Come here. I should shoot him. Hey! Come on! Go! Go! What are you stopping? Oh my god, man. Them rock stars physics, you know. <laughs> Kick it open. What are you doing? Oh, I, I hit the wrong button, man. I didn't mean to do that. Don't you have pigs to feed? You give that back. Go. Ow. I'm being chased by the village idiot. This is your last warning, boy. Should shoot him in the leg or something. My careful. Ugh. He could be anywhere. I'm telling you, if you come and get your food. It's hard not to stare at the way you look. I read in the newspaper. Oh, so it must be true. Damn it. They make half of them up. Ain't nothing to worry about. Oh, come on. Really, dude? You're going to slip on the fruit? Man, this is getting old. See how it stops you? You're supposed to stay away from him. What's the problem, friend? Give me my thanks, boy. What are you talking about, friend? I ain't your friend, but that kid is, and he robbed from me. Now give me back my stuff and take me to Angelo Bronte. Senor Bronte. That kid was gonna show me before he robbed me. Now, <gasps> come on. You new in town, mister? Come on. Mr. Bronte's got a lot of friends, mister, but I ain't never seen you. We ain't friends. <laughs> you don't like no one, mister. Mr. Bronte, he's got fine hair. He got a beautiful house, and I am proud to work for him. He got 50 men, mister. Why are you gonna care a thing about you? I just wanna speak with him. <laughs> I'm sure you do, mister. You and them friends of yours been asking about him all over town. He been mighty disrespected. Bunch of muddy Yankees in town asking questions. Well, you and your friends should pay him a visit, mister. He's got a big house on Flavian Street opposite the park. Hey, Yoko. Now, 
Get out of here. That's why they wanted Jack. That I guarantee you that's why they wanted Jack. Because the gang, his gang, his people are kids. I mean, it makes sense because they blend in, you know? I could get something to eat. Let's have some bourbon. It barely does the job, but it will help. Get drunk. You do notice getting drunk. It barely does anything. Oh, wait. Oh, it takes away health. Oh, I'm sorry. That's my fault. I think that does health? Well, that. There you go. That's what we want, isn't it? No. We need food. That'll do both, but... It doesn't fill the bar, you know what I mean? So my health is kind of low. There he is. Where you been? Getting robbed? Who by? Bunch of children. <laughs> I won't inquire anymore. But I found Mr. Bronte. Seems to be some Italian Mr. Big in town. Everybody knows him, but nobody wants to talk about him. Apparently lives in a big house on Flavian Street, opposite the park. <laughs> Good work. So what now? We go pay him a visit. I'll get John. You meet us there. Whatever it takes, we need to get that boy back. I cannot decide which I like less. The swamps or the city. Both are full of parasites, reptiles, and slime. We're a long way east of land we know, and far from real open country. All right. The joys of civilization. What? Oh, hold on, I bet you there was a catch the kid in a few minutes. Complete with 5:30. Yeah, catch the street urchin before he reaches the market. So is that even possible to do? Oh, sorry, lady. Sorry. So there's more stuff. I can do another Dutch mission or I can go... Hold on. Wait, was not Was there another mission? I thought there was. Maybe not. It, it showed something else, but I'll bet I could have picked one of those three. Anyway, let's go have a word with Dutch. That's weird that it's saying... There's a flashing MB somewhere on the map. Oh, that's What's-His-Nuts. That's the actual guy. Bronte. Okay, so Dutch, where you at, boy? Dutch? Really, parking here isn't ideal, but that's okay. <laughs> there he is. What's up, Dutch? Is that Micah with you? There you are. You boys ready? Of course. What else do you know about this guy? Not much. Just he's some slick little greasy-haired European. Clearly got power and money. Now, listen, if we go in there and start shooting up the place, the boy's going to get shot, that I guarantee. Better like this, we're going to have a lot of protection. Ain't no one's going to get shot, Arthur, so everyone just relax. We'll charm them. Trust me. This the place? <clears throat> Must be. You okay, John? I guess. Oh, it's John. I'm Excuse sorry. Me, sir. We have Makes sense. To see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? You get your boss down here and now, so we can talk about this like gentlemen. Huh? Run along now, boy. Was that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. I got this. Go 
Don't worry, boys. We come in peace. We just need to straighten a couple of things out with your boss. Sono sti buffoni. Sono qui per picciotto. Coi soldi? Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. So, you walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath and you tell me how to act? You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? Indeed you have. Now, we are simple country folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers. It ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business. We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we, we most surely were ignorant of. You twist words, you lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. Diodoro. <laughs> Not the best woman. Angelo Bronte. <laughs> Dutch Vanderlyn. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Arthur, uh, the pleasure is mine. John Marston. <laughs> All mine, please. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 uh. So, uh... Can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <laughs> but uh, should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? Oh, of course I know you would not want that, huh? No. No, no, no. So how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in this cemetery. Well, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they're on the mild. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Lind, huh? you tell me more about my manners. <laughs> Salute. Salute. Well, I figured it would be wouldn't be that cut and dry, but God, I wish we had more tonics that I could just eat. Like, I've only got things that take away, and nothing that replenishes health just takes away. So that sucks. Grave robbers? You think he's taking us for a fool? No idea. What choice do we have? None, I guess. This is idiotic. You know where the cemetery is? I think so. Pretty sure I rode by it earlier. It's real impressive. You know, you did good holding your tongue in there. Do you trust one word that comes out of that bastard's mouth? We don't even know where Jack is. Listen, we found Bronte. We got in there. Dutch is with him now. All things considered, it could have gone a lot worse. That poor kid. I ain't been a good father to him. I hope... He's okay. He'll be fine. I figure... The Braithwaite's were gonna hold Jack Ransom. For all the money we cost him. We must have sent him here so we couldn't get to him. But... 
Ronte knows by now there's no Braithwaite's left to pay him. Jack ain't much use to him anymore. Let's just get this done. Let Dutch handle the rest. I just hope you're right. Okay. I think this is it. Keep it down. Let's hitch your horses up ahead. Come on, Jono. Let's go. Let's keep our eyes peeled. It's all you, man. This way. All right, we gotta watch the grave robbers. What the hell? There's some damn birds. Come on. All right. Let's see what's going on in here. There's a dog in here. Dog, right? Hey there, boy. Let's what'd, keep looking. What'd you think it was? I knew it was a dog like a year ago. Just keep walking through. Oh, we got something else. When my time comes, Arthur, make sure they put me deep in the ground. With pleasure. This place gives me the chills. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I had a bit to drink. Alright, man, no worries. Once we get the boy back, that bastard better keep his word. Oh, we got him. Get down. Getting cut. I hear something in there. What the hell? Damn it. How many you see? Well, they're all dead now. Hard to tell. You should have played Mr. Bronte. Bastards are trying to draw us out. This this song this music sounds like swollen members beat you know what I mean? We sure picked the right night for it. Let's get after him. There's only oh there's a couple guys on. Hurry up and loot him! Oh my god! They probably got nothing on them. Actually they have 19 bucks. Open the gun! What are you doing? How did I miss that? Oh I do I dual wielded it. My bad. That's why I was wasn't working. I'm gonna get him. I can take a better way. Ah! There you go. I s Charging. Where'd he go? What the hell? Wow, he's moving quick. Got him. Damn. That'll do it. Got 20 bucks on him, might as well take that money. Gotta be around here someplace. Okay, but we'll need to be quick. We can't go back to Bronte empty handed. Let's have a look where they first shot at us from. Okay. Robbing grave robbers. We've hit the big time. This 
Somewhere here. I think there might be oh. something in here. Ha! Ah. Got it. Good. Now let's get out of here. Uh oh, let me guess. The cops. Oh, shit. It's the law. Let's go. Maybe we can. It's locked. We'll have to go back the way we came. Damn it. John, we can be stealthy. We best stick to the side. Copy that. Now they think we're the grave robbers. There's someone coming. Hide. I found a body. Looks fresh. Still bleeding. Must have just been killed. They're still here. Okay, go, John. Come on. Stay together. Sticking with John. Go. I worry that something's gonna happen. Like last minute, we're gonna have to shoot our way out. Hopefully not, but. Me too. Why don't you go left? Whoa, where are you going? Jesus, man. I tried to go behind this cover, he slides to that one. Okay, Marston, go. Come on, quick. Let's get back to Dutch. Come on, it. Let's go. Time to go, boy. That was nice and clean. Let's go. Come on, John. Well, it's lucky I ain't a religious man. Let's just get back there. I think he might be playing games with us. Let's just see. Keep your head. Act normal. How's he even gonna know we did what he asked? I got a feeling most things around here get back to him pretty fast. Like I said, would you see where we're at once we got Jack? You took your time. Where's your host? Ah. Like I said, you took your time. Ah. I'm glad to see you. Let's get going. What a fine man. Hey, friend. Uh, thank you Mr. Bronte you for right? everything. Yeah, I'm fine. Come on. You know, Arthur, Mr. Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. <laughs> And us, just simple country boys. Let's go! <sighs> we have a new camp set up, Jack. You're gonna love it. Well, that worked yeah. out. I actually can't believe we have All Jack right. back. Let's get this boy back to his mother. You sure you're okay, son? I'm fine. Papa Bronte said you'd come for me. I'm... I'm sorry. What for? For that. For taking so long. I had a fun time. I had my own room with a big bed and a toy box. And lots of books. Did they do anything to you? Have you ever had spaghetti? What? What's that? It's food. It looks like worms, but it's delicious. Is that right? Papa Bronte teach me lots of Italian words. Don't call him that, please. You know, cavallo? That means horse. And Fantafola? That's a slipper. A slipper? They gave me two pairs. One for day and one for night. Well, uh, I'm just glad you're all right. Oh, yes. I had the best time. But I can't wait to see Mama. Did she miss me? 
She sure did. Like you wouldn't know. You had a nice night then? Most enjoyable. Well, the man's an intolerable blowhard, but he stocks a fine bar. How did you fellers get on? Any problems? A whole heap of them. We about doubled the population of that graveyard. You know, I thought I heard gunshots, but the gramophone was playing. <sighs> Unbelievable. Each to their strengths, Arthur. I went in there with a gun and left with a party invitation. So, what'd you say this was? A garden party? A big gala at the mayor's house. I'm told every rich fool in Lemoyne will be there. Bronte? Oh, he'll be there too. Seems to more or less run this city. At least, that's the way he sees it. Could open up some opportunities for us. It's been a chaotic few days. But we can finally move forward now. Get the money we need and disappear. Abigail! Abigail! We got you, your son, everything! We got him! Mama! He's fine! I'm fine, Mama. They fed me good. <laughs> Italian food. <laughs> you ever eat that? Come here, you silly boy. Uh, <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. Dutch, Arthur, thank you. Thank you. I got my son back! <laughs> Jack, Jack, Jack. How are you, boy? I'm fine, thanks. Everything's okay now. Abigail? Can I go play now? <sighs> so? Well, we met Mr. Bronte. <laughs> he is, uh, quite a character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong man before? <laughs> Not outside of a circus. Well, let me tell you all about him. John, you go be with your family. Arthur. Thank you. Boys, we got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. <laughs> we got Jack back! <laughs> well, the boy's safe, thank goodness. Maybe thank you, Arthur. I... <clears throat> I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. Do as Dutch says. <clears throat> Go be with your family. Well, that worked out. I actually got some money from it. What else is there? Complete within 10 minutes, 40. Get four heads. Okay. Is it another one of those party ones? Yeah. All right, here we go. Mission for Mary Beth. Hello, Mary Beth. Oh, how are you, Arthur? Fine. How are you? Um, well, I'm well, I think. It's been quite a run we've had, but, but we're still alive. Mm -hmm. So, no regrets? Regrets for what? Well, for joining this band of maniacs. If you're a girl without means in this world, life is very scary. You boys care for me before no one cared for me. Well... Life weren't very nice, Arthur. Not after Mama got typhoid, and that was a long time ago. Sure. What about you? <clears throat> I heard you ran into that Mary girl. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And? You got me thinking how that all ended. Long time ago now. What happened? <laughs> well, she didn't love me enough, I guess. Or I wouldn't change. Huh. Well, she was a fool then, Arthur. Well, she put a lot of good years in on an outlaw. She definitely was a fool. In these books, life seems so simple, but in reality, I, I can't make head nor tail of it. Mr. Morgan! Mr. Morgan, we have a problem. A real problem. It's Tilly. What? She's oh. been taken by them Foreman brothers she used to run with. Come along! The Foreman brothers? What are they doing here? Well, I don't know what they've been doing here, but I can tell you what they're going to be doing here. Dying. Sure. Do we need more guns? You and I can handle this, Arthur. Where are we heading? I'll tell you on the way. 
Just get going. All right, vamos. All right, head for Rhodes and quick. She's in Rhodes? No, she's at a place called Bradley's house, just west of there. How do you know? When we first got here, she told me she was worried that our camp was near a safe house that gang she ran with used from time to time. And you told Dutch? No. She spoke to me in confidence. I suppose I didn't think it would be a problem. And now it is. Oh, yes. What do they want with her anyway? I think I saw one of the foremans hassling her in Valentine. Yes. They probably followed us down here. You don't know what happened? She killed one of them, for good reason, but clearly they don't see it that way. Tilly? Yes. Young Tilly Jackson isn't as sweet and innocent as you might think. But like I say, she was defending herself. She fled and fell in with us right after that. I just hope we can get to her in time. It's not too far. If they've touched a single hair on that girl's head, I will eviscerate the sons of bitches. See? You do care, Miss Grimshaw. Of course I care. About all of you fools. Some just require a firmer hand than others. You especially. Well, thank you. Anyway, talking to folks disappearing. Have you seen that boy Kieran since the party for Jack? Okay, I think that's the place. Up oh, ahead. is Kieran run back? A guard. I'll deal with him. Whoa. What you want? Time, sir. We're lost and in need of some help. Well, get out of here. Oh, I see that kindly face of yours, and I know that for the right inducement, a gentleman such as yourself could be mighty kind. Now get out of here. Oh, now you keep saying that. But you don't mean nothing by it. I said. It. You said your last word. Well, Damn. Get in there and find our girl. She's a savage. Let's be stealth. Damn! I'm gonna go on with the full clip. What the hell? It wouldn't let me shoot on her. That was an easy find. You okay, girl? It's okay, Miss Tilly. Let's get you out of here. I thought there was. Yeah, it don't matter what you thought. It's okay. All right, let's go. Oh, come along, miss. Thank you, both of you. What happened? It was Anthony Foreman. He thinks he owns me. I remember. Where is he? He went out hunting or something. There were five of them, I think. Well, we killed those fellas there. There they are. Come on. Tilly, grab that gun. Anyone approaches, shoot them. Oh, don't worry. I'll be just fine. Now catch that bastard. Copy that. Let's roll. Hang tight. Switch to the pistola. There, I see I him. him the We're coming for you, you there you go, he did. They're heading down the hill to the water. She and wants the guy. The you picked the wrong girl. Oh, what happened there? It screwed up my shot. Is he still alive? Oh, Not anymore. Alright, we need to save him. If I had my horse, would you catch him already? Copy that, I'm on it. Almost there. Got him. Whoop! That's it. Now make sure you tie him up real good. There we go. What the hell? What happened? How did he? What the hell? What happened there, man? I didn't let go of it. Come on, you run. Ah, dude, that's so annoying. Run, like I didn't let go of it. He just 
dropped it. I'm gonna get a bronze now, because apparently I can't catch him. Throw it! Gotcha. Finally! Don't let go of anything. I don't understand how that happened. Jesus. I was really stupid. I was just gonna drag him back to Tilly, but... Dude, are you seriously gonna make me walk all the way back with this guy? Did she seriously take off? My horse is... Oh my god, dude. Thanks for that. Unbelievable. Alright, after what feels like a 30 mile hike, I'm finally here. She just left without me. My horse is nowhere even close. Alright. Here's your man. Bring him here. Dump him on the ground here. So he's still alive then? Ah. Yes. You see this girl? You leave her alone. She killed my cousin. Your goddamn cousin had it coming, Anthony Foreman. I don't care if she shot your daddy and cooked your mama for breakfast. She's mine. She ate yours. You know, a friend of mine, he always says, <clears throat> revenge is a fool's game. Now, you want all your boys dead? She had her reasons. We was family, Tilly Jackson. You foreman boys ain't no kind of family I want. Kill him, Arthur. You want that? I want him to go away and tell the remaining of his cousins and the clowns he rides with to leave me alone. Now, you think you can do that, Anthony? Or should I slit your throat and just save us all the bother? I'll leave you alone. History is done. History is never done. It's your call, Arthur. But I'd slit his throat. Go on. Nah, that's what she wants. Let's get you home. Yeah. Let's remember that. Now get out of here. Well, there you go. Let me guess. Return to Tilly in like five seconds. We, oh, never mind. Oh, there you go. Now we gotta get back. But look at this man. Look how far my horse is. Why is he so far? Because I didn't take him with me, right? I, do I seriously have to walk back to my camp? I do. Dude, come on. Alright, guys. Jose has got a little mission for us. Jose? Hey, Arthur. Come on! If we're gonna make it to this party, we yeah. sure as shit better clean up a little. So we're doing this? Oh, yeah. Old friend Dutch van der Linde's finally showing his true colors. Social climbing. <laughs> Old Senor Bronte, that horrendous snake, has invited us to the ball, Cinderella. So my suggestion is we go and get you a gown. <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> we are ridiculous. <laughs> Utterly. I ain't never been to a ball in my life. Nor have I, if I am being honest. I used to quite often. There can be fine pickets. Oh, no, 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 no pickpocketing. We are here to make real contact. What kind of contact? Well, I don't know. We'll find what we can. All I know for sure is we are going to a party at the mayor's house, and the guest of honor is the worst crook in town. <laughs> I am sure that we will find something. Okay. <laughs> Gentlemen, Luca. I'm afraid the mayor does not allow guns at official functions after last year's incident. Luca here will take you to Mr. Bronte. I believe he is expecting you. Follow me, gentlemen. This way, please, gentlemen. <laughs> Senior Bronte will be so pleased that you made it. We are wow, it's weird seeing them like this, hey? Look at Bill's socks. Beautiful evening it shall be. Mr. Brante is a very good friend with the mayor. Good evening, Pierre. I love how my hair keeps growing, too. I haven't cut it in a while. I want to get that beard tonic to make it... I want full-length beard. 
We'll meet you out back after we pay our respects to Senor Lebron. This is a nice house. We'll meet you out in the balcony when you're done. And you've washed for the prima volta questo mese, senza dubbio. Oh, this is quite a party you've invited us to. Yes, quite something. Although I'm not quite sure what. So, this is San Denis High Society. Yes, apparently so. And all these people, these are friends of yours, Senor Bronte. No, 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 not quite, not quite. But they certainly are afraid of me. Like that one. See that wretch? He's the mayor. <laughs> Henri Lemieux. <laughs> He'll do anything for a dollar, and I mean anything. <laughs> Politics is a foul business. Yes. Oh, and that one too. That is Alberto Fuzar. He owns a sugar plantation out on the island, and he comes here to whore and despoil himself. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, and that, that is Hobart Crawley, a, a Confederate major in the war. I mean, hero, they say, but that is his, his very young wife. I mean, a young mistress, that's the natural order of things, yes, but a young wife is unseemly. Oh, oh, the Redskins. <laughs> I have no sympathy for them, because whoever is stupid enough to get tricked by the Americans, no, they get what they deserve, huh? <laughs> yes, and a letter to the mayor. Oh, yeah, that'll save you. <laughs> and that... That is Hector Fellows, mm. this self-righteous newspaper man. Maybe, maybe you will kill him for me one day. <laughs> well, we're not paid killers as such, not in cold blood anyway. I did not know you were so particular that uh, you wouldn't help a friend. Oh, I'm willing to help in any way I can, uh, within reason. <laughs> I'm going to pretend to understand what that means. I meant no offense, sir. I'm not taken. None taken! <laughs> All these vulgar people, they hate me. Non vedo l'ora di guardarti morire! Well, uh, it has been wonderful conversing with you, but I can tell that you are very busy and I won't waste any more of your time. Yes, yes, yes. Go, enjoy yourselves and mingle with this vulgar scum. It'll make you long for the days when you could shoot each other and screw cows out on the open range. <laughs> <laughs> Those sure were the days. Good day, gentlemen. Mm, good day to you. But before you go, what uh, exactly are your plans here? Well, we've not made any... Well... We, we are going to need some money. Money, yes, of course. Well, there's, there's money at the trolley station. They keep a lot of cash there in the day. Now, I could not involve myself in such uh, matters. But you, pff, as a guest, yes, as my guest, bah, do it, huh? <laughs> okay, good day, gentlemen. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ragazzi, adesso il vino buono. <laughs> See, that's the rudest thing. Talking smack in, uh, in like a language they can't understand. Gentlemen, enjoy your evening and welcome once again to San Denis. Ciao, ciao. Grazie. Anyway. Let's go ingratiate ourselves. So what now? Okay. Good evening, mister. Go find the mayor if you can and stay out of trouble and steal nothing unless it's information. Of course. Jose, you go find us some place to rob. Bill, go make us some new friends. I'm gonna find that. So we actually got a mingle, man. This is a party. Can I interest you in a glass of champagne? Yes, you can. Thank you. Good evening, all. 
Hello there. I do look like a bit of a ruffian, don't I? Gentlemen. Hello, sir. How about you? Good evening, sir. <laughs> You okay? Oh, my lord! Pesky nut! What a way to go, eh? Oh, thank you, sir. Oh, yes. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Uh, Algernon Hello? The uh, fashion is killed. Hello, Mr. Kilko. No, what is it that, uh, that you do? Um, uh, I'm an adventurer. Oh, me too. We're awfully close to this guy. I would back up, but I don't want to break the convo. And a seat in this land of commonplace heathens. My card, sir. My partners and I represent 20, well, more like... Pay me a visit in my... I tell you, I must just go and purge. I intend to stay thin until I pass away. Good evening. All right. There you go. Never know who he could be. Saved his life. Maybe he owes me. It's a beautiful courtyard, isn't it? How are you, ladies? How do you do? How are you all doing? How do you do? Gentlemen, oh, I hope you're having Hello. a fine evening. Ah, Mr. Mayor, wonderful. Oh, it's the mayor. <laughs> this intellectual here was just insulting me regarding the redskin. I did no such thing. <laughs> but, Mr. Lemieux, I suggested that all of us as Americans had a duty to take care of people living in this land. And that extends to Saint Denis. It ain't complex, Lemieux. And only an idiot like you, buddy, would try to make it so. I will not deny idiocy, sir, but perhaps now is not the time. <laughs> Typical pansy! You are drunk, Ferdinand. <laughs> I'm not drunk, you fool. But this man, this man loves darkies. Hey, <laughs> you are pretty drunk. Yeah. What say you and me cool off? How do you do? <clears throat> Get your hands off me. Come on, sleep it off. It's pretty hammered. Getting a little bit racy. I'm the Sit bouncer. And calm down. Count to a thousand. Is he breaking glasses? Alright, let's try to have a word. Thank you, sir. My pleasure. Henri Lemieux. I hope you're enjoying my party. The mayor. Allegedly. That's quite a place you got here. <laughs> it's not mine, and the city is horribly in debt, but we can still put on a good show. Do you know Evelyn Miller? My lord. The writer? Well, we seem to have another deranged drunkard on our hands. Shall we? Oh, oh, oh. My lord, that's fantastic. People are so easily amused. I mean, fireworks are cool, but some people are just so funny. Ooh, ah! I mean, I get it at this time, but modern day. Mr. Cornwall day, was you know? quite insistent, I'm afraid. Uh, he shouted down the telephone for several minutes. Mr. Cornwall is a horse's ass and a bad horse. I'm very sorry, sir. It's not your fault. I'm a fool for trusting him. I'll come in and sign it in a minute. Let me enjoy the fireworks. Of course. Please say something about Cornwall. Yes. Find out what. Sure. Everyone's a little distracted by the fireworks. What is your problem? There's no problem here. Wait a minute, did I get like honor or was that a horse like symbol? I might have missed it. Everything's fine. We have the place well secured. Good. 
Mr. Bronte has a habit of wandering about and reading whatever he likes. <laughs> We're watching him and his men like hawks. Thank you, Mr. Turner. Okay, keep on him. Careful not to lose him. Is everything taken care of? The telephone, it keeps ringing. The mayor said he will sign later. Am I allowed to be in here? Marie! Marie! Find that little reprobate chip and beat him! I will not have standards slip in this house. Oh, crap. Holy, that was close. Have you lost your mind? I said, have you lost your mind? Come here. Come here. Look at me. Look at me. Who do you think you are? This area is not meant for the likes of you. You know this. Standards in this house are slipping. Jesus. This is a final warning to you, miss. A final warning. Now get out of my sight. Oh, poor girl. This guy's an asshole. I gotta stay on him, though. He went upstairs, didn't he? Go. Come on, man. With a bit of haste. With a bit of haste. Lockbox. Go. Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Top secret, extremely confidential, very interesting. Now we got to get out of here? Wait a minute, can I inspect the letter? Ah, okay. All right, let's... Upstairs is not where we're supposed to be right now. I mean, we were allowed up here before when we were talking to Bronte, but... I'm just gonna zip back outside. No one even knew! I love how it said he was a stranger. <laughs> Find anything? I think so. Nothing. This town is a waste of time. Maybe not. I think. Gentlemen, I think we're done here. What did you find out? There's plenty of money, Musu, here, of course, and I, I think I found out how we can grab some of it. A big bank. Real one, I mean. But not yet. A city bank? Maybe. And a stuffed one. We're gonna leave. That could be the one thing we need. There's also that trolley car station Senor Bronte told us about. And I heard about a high-stakes poker game. Come on. It's like Casino Royale. <laughs> Here comes Lenny. All right. Let's get in. <coughs> Go home. I ain't never felt so awkward in all my life. All them folk all so pleased with themselves. Oh, high society's pigeon shit. If you ask me, it's more like torture. Well, that's sort of the point, isn't it? Let the people torture themselves. Here's them papers I took. Uh, let me see you take this. I don't think so. Hmm. I might have an idea. Let me think on it.
<laughs> Interesting times. Uh, I guess. So what's next? Dancing lessons? Deportment? More along the lines of armed robbery. Jose is handling reconnaissance on the bank. He and Abigail are gonna run some distractions, see how the law reacts. Good. Oh, and I spoke to Evelyn Miller, fine man. Here helping the Indian chief we saw. Yeah, I met him too, with the mayor. He's lobbying officials in San Denis on their behalf. Maybe we could help. Maybe. Now, I think there's a lot of money on the riverboat. A lot of money. And Trelawney, he's investigating for us. He says to meet him at the tailors. Okay. One big score down here, Arthur, and we disappear. We are almost heading home. And where is home? I don't know. Exactly. But I can smell it. I'm gonna go investigate this trolley thing old Bronte was talking about. Okay. <sighs> Well, there you go. That was fun. How do we do? We got a silver, right? While at the party, pour some drinks, compliment a guest's attire, accept a gift, and say... Oh, I didn't do any of that. I mean, I saved a life. Damn. Well, I didn't realize I was... In I was supposed to mingle first. Probably could have got another card. Oh, well. My dear Arthur... I hope this letter finds you well. I wanted to thank you for your help with Jamie. He and Daddy are still arguing, but I understand that Jamie is thinking about going back to college. Whatever happens, I believe you saved his life and we are all truly grateful. Oh, Arthur, I have made such a mess of my life time and again. Why can I not change and be the woman I want to be? Why couldn't you change and be a man and put down all those fantasies that shroud your judgment? Life is very confusing, and I see now that I'm not very good at it. I'm afraid we've got ourselves into another mess. It's not my fault, but I need your help. I'm staying at the Hotel Grand in San Denis. Oh, Arthur, I know it is wrong to ask you. But I have nobody else, and for what we once had together, I beg of you, even though I am ashamed to do so. You are yes. absolutely man. joking, man. Another letter. So I looked at the map, and there was a question mark on it. That's probably who it is. It's not showing anything for some reason right now, but there was a mission right there, and now it's gone. Bruh. I'm pretty sure it's Mary. Anyway. Alright, so Trelawney is somewhere over here. Oh, sorry. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Hey, Trelawney, how you doing? Ah, there you are, dear boy. Yes, here I am. Well, we're going to need to get you smartened up a bit. Why? Well, you can't play at the tables on a Lanahasi riverboat looking like this. You can't? Not if you want to fit in so well that no one will realize you're there to rob the place. Now, come on. Are we still doing that? Of course. We're going to fix you up so fine no one will notice a thing. By the way, guys, I went to the general store and I bought a bunch of hair tonic and I drank eight of them. Oh, Apparently, it speeds up, like, hair and beard yes, growth by eight times. in need of a new suit. We are playing on the riverboat this evening. I am actually looking Make forward this to this. Look like the Duke he really is. The Whitmore. It was the English's fault his grandfather had to emigrate. Is that all I can use? A bitter and jealous people. The Whitmore's free. You can see the aristocrat in his profile. I guess I have to wear this one. I actually like that. It's clean. Might I suggest a fine three-piece town suit, sir? Perfect for the occasion, I'd say. A very good choice, sir. That's all I can do. I'm sure I could come back and buy a new suit on my own time, but. Come on, let's get you to the barber. Oh, sure. dude. Good luck I just spent time. money buying this, getting this beard going. Are you joking? Herr Strauss has scoped the whole thing out. It's quite ingenious, actually. If you what make is? me cut my hair. Action he has planned. Indeed, it's not much of an action at all. 
You play cards and win. And you're going to bet very big and flamboyantly while you win. And everyone's going to think you're some new money from the oil fields come to lay it on thick and drunk. All the while, Herr Strauss will be signaling you in your line of sight. When you bust the place, they'll take you upstairs to pay you off. And that is when Javier comes in, and you take whatever you want. You don't think they might see an armed Mexican coming into the safe with me? Sure, they might, but perhaps not. You will see. The suspense is killing me. Oh, don't be so jaded. We both know this is just the kind of innocent fun you thrive on. Well, well, after the past couple of months, armed robbery don't seem such an innocent pastime. No, but we, you, all of us, will be done here soon. I hope so. Come on. I Like, as long as you... I'll cut my hair, but don't let me cut my beard. Let me keep it, man. Come on, I just bought hair my tonics. Good man. Could you smarten up my dear hick friend here? All right. This unlikely fellow has made himself a fortune in the oil fields. It's at 11. It's at a level or uh, level of 7. It's been growing like crazy. Well, very good, sir. Level no, 1? It's not good. Not good at all. Not if they're going to let him play big at the tables tonight. That looks good. Okay, let me see this. Uh, yeah, because that's the hair stuff. Let's see the facial hair I got. Full styles. What am I currently repping? Wow, I haven't seen Arthur without a beard. You look like a prince, sir. The English. So I'm at a level of seven. It could get longer. I think, anyway. What am I currently... Re Dude, that's amazing. Yeah, see, we're at the second to last for length. That looks ridiculous. What am I currently sitting at? I'm at an 8, actually. So I could drop it. Oh, I see. So you can just do the mustache. I'm oh, just kidding. We want that maxed out. That's staying. This is your current length. That's how it's going to be. Thank you. Ha <laughs> ha. Leave the beard. That's right. Two there, more two more lengths to go. Come on. Let's get to the docks. I've arranged some transportation. A haircut was needed, I will say though. It was max length though. It wasn't getting any longer than that. Look at that. We get carriage. Oh, are you serious? I have to go around? Thanks a lot, Come man. On and let's go. Keeping a gentleman waiting. I don't know. George! To the Grand Corrigan, please. Grand Corrigan, sir. Well, look at you. From Toad to Prince. Yeah, really, I just shortened the hair. Much, ain't it? The coach? We can't win any up there on horses like a bunch of countrified yokels. You're a brash oil man. Money to burn. Which reminds me. No shuffling and mumbling. Buff your chest out. Get outside yourself. Yeah, all right, all right. This ain't happening. So, who's a mark? Are you all right, by the way? The driver? Oh, yes. Don't worry. George and I go way back. It's a man called Desmond Bly. Made a fortune in... Posery of all things. <laughs> Likes to play fast and always keep some extra collateral in the safe upstairs. So, if Strauss is sitting behind him, how does he know what cards I got? He won't. But the dealer has recently become a very good friend of mine. Another one. Don't worry, Arthur. We're all the authors of our own good fortune. He'll make sure you get the right cards. What could possibly go wrong? <clears throat> Indeed. And what money am I playing with? Don't worry. That has all been arranged. Your chips will be waiting. 
Ah, there she is. Come on. Okay. Arthur, leave any weaponry here. We are searchers when we get on. George, we'll collect these from you later. Very good, sir. Thank you, George. Good luck, sir. Thanks. Now remember what I said, Arthur. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Yes, yes, believe me, I heard every word. Watch Strauss, listen to the dealer, and this should be a very lucky night. Well, there they are. To be honest, it'd be better if my mustache was, a, like, I mean, for this kind of assembly. Father, you remember this pair of boys we met in New York? Come on, Jeff. Champagne is on dear old Arthur. He's rich as can be and feeling luckier than a turkey that survived Thanksgiving. Hello, gentlemen. Hello. But yeah, we'd have to have, like, a curled mustache. Kind of like what Dutch has. That would be super gentlemanly. Come on, come on. Let's head aboard. Drinks but I'm keeping the beard, man. You don't do that. It looks fantastic. It's not even the longest yet. Just wait. All right, this should be fun. I'm afraid we require all patrons to hand over their guns. I did, already. Good time. The tables await. I'll go find myself a change of clothes. Okay. You seem unsure. Robbing a heavily armed riverboat without a gun tends to bring out the self-doubt in me. These people are virtually idiots. This is simple stuff. Shalani, I don't know about that, man. Time, but don't lose too much money or your wife is going to kill me. Whatever you say. So do I have to go gambling? Now where can I get a cocktail? I do. Let's, I'll try and win, but these are high stakes poker. So it's not like Take those guys seat. back in uh, that second chapter. Good evening, gentlemen. Arthur Callahan. Sorry I'm late. I had some uh, unfinished business at the bar. Evening. Desmond Blythe. Evening. Not to worry. Welcome to the game, Mr. Callahan. Okay, gentlemen, let's play. I hope you're a player. Been too many cowards at these tables recently. Nothing less dignified than a man afraid to lose a little money. Look at this! Chips already stacked up, waiting for me. I have 300 I like bucks. This joint already. What do I got? Sorry, I can't please, see it. Sir. So. Jack and a nine. How are we all? Fair? I'll call. Some better than others. If we all fared the same in life, now where would the fun be? Wait. Yeah, they're both clubs, so if we got like a Wait, ten. Not Desmond you never know. The hosiery king. I should have brought my other wallet. Not my preferred title, but yes, you should have. Come on, man, hook me up. There's a queen of spades. Wait, so I wait. Hold on, I can just get a straight. What do I have? Let me see. I have a nine. Does it? Well, let me look at the cards. Nine. So seven. If I can get an eight, I have queen high. Queen high straight right now. So I'm gonna call. Call. What the hell? Here we go then. Oh, he's going all in. Well, Hello, my ladies. Damn it. So I didn't win that one. So far. Mr. Blythe wins with Damn. three queens. <laughs> Goodbye, gentlemen. I guess it's just you and me now, friend. Yes, it is. They went all in. See if you're really the man you seem to think you are. Likewise, Mr. Blythe. Dude, I gotta win. What business are you in, Mr. Callahan? I'm an oil man for my sins. Funny, I haven't heard of you. Oh, you will. You know, I think these are I planted. Look at that, two queens. Three, but I just Can I raise? In a suit. 20 bucks. I would stick to oil, Mr. Callahan. I don't think you have a future on the stage. I'm going to call you it. You sound just like my wife. Got to win this pot. Come on, baby. Ooh, okay. Jack. Uh. Sorry to do this to you, but I have no choice. All in. I have a pair of queens. Dude, we don't know what we're getting. Let's call them. Now what the hell? It's only money. It's not mine anyway. Interesting. Pair of jacks. I have a pair of queens. Pair I won. Cowgirls. So far. Yes! 500 bones! Woohoo! Shit. Shit. 
Why would you go all in on a pair of jacks? That you done? Actually, that's Dog not bad. Bust. Well, uh, you got something else to play with. Meaning, well, I heard, well, I heard there were some big boys on this boat. Maybe that's not you. No offense. Sit your hillbilly ass down. Are we still going? Why, I got a watch. Look at you. An expensive one. Real fine. Swiss. A Reutlinger, no less. It's in the safe upstairs. It's worth more than you. Okay. I trust you. Now play as you wish. So, you must know Leviticus Cornwall, big oil man like you. Of course, we've crossed paths. I was fortunate enough to tour a little operation of his up in New Hanover. What do we got? Two kings, dude. Yeah, these are definitely set. <laughs> I am 100% all in, Mr. Callahan. Don't worry, sir. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Well, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Dude, that's a lot of money. Pair kings. Oh, I lost. But not good enough. Hold on, let's see. Shit. Hold on, let's see what's here. Oh, he's got three aces. Uh oh. I lost. Yes. You oh wait a minute. Beauty. Hard lines, Mr. Blind. Wait, what Mr. happened? Mr. Callahan wins with an ace high diamond flush. Oh snap! God damn you! No offense. None taken. Well played, sir. Damn. Unlucky, Desmond. Now, forgive my lack. I didn't notice that at the last minute. minute. Where might I find this watch? It's upstairs. Shall we go and have a look? Why not? Wow, that was easy. See, I, I had a feeling they wanted us to Please win that. Cash these out for me. I, I started last week. Good. Sure. Perhaps you could escort us up to the office. Yes, of course, sir. Thank you. Follow me, gentlemen. Come with me, sir. Yes, sir. Ha. You're having quite the night. Yeah, so far. So three and two. I cannot believe someone gave a greaser a job. <laughs> we live in strange times. Personally, I wouldn't trust one with a gun, but fear not. I've got my own little lawgiver right here. Oh, he's there talking about right. Javier. Poor bastard. Shut up, man. Just want to smack a bitch, but that's the way things Next. were back then. We'll be hiring Negroes. Oh, for God's sake. Yeah, I know. I know. Apparently, you can find KKK members and just absolutely like slaughter them. Watch, sir. I saw it earlier, and it really is a handsome piece. What if this is a hustle? Foreign made, but you can't have everything. Indeed. Well, here we are. Can I take him down? Oh, we got to wait till he opens the safe, though, right? Oh, there's another guy there. Just give me one second, sir. Of course, take your time. Don't reach for that gun. Take his gun, Arthur. I guess you were right. Only an idiot would give a greaser a gun. <laughs> Can we? We gotta knock him out. It's only, it's only got a single, like... Well, that's gonna alert people. I should've knocked him out. Copy. You in here is looking pretty good. How much is there? Must be a few thousand plus the watch. Nice. Now let's get out of here. Come on. Let's go meet the others. Copy that. Sure. I reckon we've only got a few minutes to get out of here. If we're lucky. Is that a gunshot? It sounded like one. Come on. And how exactly are we getting out of here? Swimming? I ain't too sure. This is what tends to happen when you leave Trelawney in charge of planning. Oh, garnish no meat. Probably involve us dressing up as dancing girls and can cannon off the side. <laughs> nice uniform, by the way. Thanks. I'd give anyone a job these days. Anyway, we shouldn't give ourselves away until we know we need to. Maybe we could still blend into the crowd when it all goes crazy. 
Which it surely will. We're definitely gonna have to shoot our way. I hope you had fun, sir. <laughs> In the time of my life. You boys sure know how to put on a show. <laughs> That's wonderful. Ah, <laughs> uh, look, there's your friend. Sir, my friend is not a no good cheat, and I beg you to take back the insinuation. Howdy. There he is. Now, don't be a sore loser, friend. There's something I don't like about the pair of you. <laughs> There's plenty I don't like about you, but I have the good manners to keep my mouth shut. There he is. Shoot that man. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's how that goes. Damn it, Javier. Oh, that guy got lucky. Oh, wait, did it go through the things? It's a powerful rifle. We need to get out of here. There you go, bam. Oh, this ain't my show. Silly me, I clean forgot to bring my gun to Shit. Damn it. We gotta go. Come on. There are four above the alligator. Kobe! I knew we'd be swimming. But wait a minute. We're gonna drown. No, it's animated. We're good. Ruined a good suit. Well, never a dull moment. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. So, how much did we get? A few thousand, I think. Pretty good. Yes, indeed. And this watch, uh, apparently it's worth a bunch of Swiss, uh, a Reutlinger or something. Nice watch. Yes, it's a Reutlinger, all right. <laughs> we'll give it back then. All right, come on, let's get out of here. Wow, that's some good cash, baby. So there's another mission in town here. What? Okay, what did we miss out on? About after you escape the boat and under three. Oh, you just had to run, basically. Damn, I almost got the full gold. Anyways, next mission should be in town. The question mark, like I said, I think that's. Uh, I don't think that's a stranger. And then where's the other one? Oh, back at the base. Anyways, who are you? Excuse me. Hey, do I know you? Mr. I believe we've met. We have? At that ghastly party. Oh, Evelyn Miller. Unfortunately so, Mr. Arthur Morgan, at least sometimes. Uh, can I say something rude? Sure. The mayor thinks you robbed him. Well, uh, to be clear, he, he wasn't very upset about it. He rather liked you. Okay. Do you, uh, well, I mean to say, uh, can you steal things? Is there a reason you're asking me to incriminate myself, Mr. Miller? Well, I'm sorry. Have you met? This is Rain's Fall, a great chief, and his son, Eagle Flies. Gentlemen, yeah, we saw you in the wagon train crossing the river at Cumberland Falls. And at the party, you were upstairs. <laughs> you have great powers of observation. As my people, if we are even a people anymore. We've fought hard. We've made peace treaties, and those treaties were broken, and we've been moved and punished and punished and moved. I'm sure. And now I am told we are to be moved again. Clearly contravening the peace treaty signed three years ago. This will lead to war. No, my son, we will not. We cannot fight another war. They have got stronger, 
And we have become far weaker, Mr. Morgan. Well, it's a bad business. It's to do with oil. I know it is, but I need the proof. I believe there were some prospectors who were on their land a few months ago who have filed reports with Leviticus Cornwall and the state government claiming huge reserves of oil under their land. So, you want me to try and steal it? Obviously, they can't. <laughs> and even more obviously, I would be useless. <clears throat> Listen, I realize that it is a ridiculous request, but we're very desperate. Now, I'm not a do-gooder, Mr. Miller. Gentlemen, I'm very sorry for your predicament, but... I'm a working man, I got problems of my own. We will pay you very handsomely, Mr. Morgan. How much? I told you, they're all mercenaries. <laughs> <laughs> There's a price on my head in two states, my friend. The government doesn't like me any more than it does you. Like you, I've been running for as long as I can remember. And like you, my time here is nigh undone. We understand, and we will pay. Thank you. You meet my son in a couple of days near Citadel Rock, just west of the oil fields. Okay. We are very grateful for your help. Gentlemen, at appointment with the Senator, we should head over there. It's a waste of our time. And his. No. We must try everything. Come along. Hello. Mr. Miller, the counselor wants to apologize. He can see you now. We've been waiting I don't know how long. Or next month, if you'd like to reschedule. Come. Perhaps the senator won't mind waiting. The uh, the chief there, I know that voice actor. He's actually he's in uh, he's actually in a lot of TV and film. He, he plays a uh, Native American man very frequently. I've seen him in a lot of stuff. I can't believe he's still doing he's still acting. He sounds the same. Like, I've seen him in stuff from, like, the 90s and stuff, and... Jeez, that's ages ago at this point, really. All right, Sadie! How you doing, Mrs. Adler? How are you? Been quite a journey since I... Well, since I joined you fellas. Yes. And now you and Dutch have joined high society. Oh, Lord above. Yeah, it seems so. I think my days in polite society are over. Well... I just saw Bill Williamson at a party at the San Denise's mayor's house. <laughs> if he can do it, anyone can. You get any leads? Yeah, I think so. You know so, Arthur Morgan. Come on, we need to talk. Mrs. Adler, will you excuse us? When are you gonna let me come robbing with you, Dutch? My lord, a few more like her, we could take over the whole world. Yeah. A few more like her, there wouldn't be much of a world left. Yes, perhaps. Now. The trolley bus station. I went down there. I took a look at it. I think we can hit it. <laughs> I ain't never robbed in a city before. Yeah, well, you leave the planning to me. You'll ride with me. Always. Is it just you and me? No, we'll need one more, I reckon. I say Lenny. Not Micah. Well, that depends if you want a massacre or a payday. No, I wish that there was something I could do to make the two of you get along better. Well, that's easy. Make them change. Very funny. What is that? <laughs> what the hell have they done to me? Look, there, the tree line. Everybody take cover! O'Driscoll boys are coming! Damn, dude. We were wondering where he went. All right, I need my rifle. Actually, hold on. Good night. Damn, son. They need help. Get down. Copy. I'm on it. One crap. Just in case. Oh, damn, Driscoll. Cabinet Driscoll. Get upstairs. Save her up there. Hold in here. Stay away from the window. 
Never mind, switch back to the Peter. Get inside. Come on, quick. Go, man, go. Oh, I don't want that. Come on. Hold up, stay low. I want more dead eye tonic. Anybody else want to dance? Oh, I ran out. I wasted too many shots on the on the wagon. Not bad though. I missed on that one. All right, all right, let's go. Copy. You know, closing the the door might help. Windows covered quickly. John, you take the windows over there. Charles, you take the side door there. Arthur, you take the windows in the back. Go. On it. You ladies, kids, I can't see it. Is everyone accounted for? I think. Hey, I said it's everyone accounted for. I don't know. I think. Shit, I'm out. Hold on. Let me. Dead eye level two, that's fine. Crap, I gotta redo that one. Shit! Cancel, come on! Oh, that'll have to do. Not exactly ideal. There you go. I hate it when I target the wrong one. Oh, there's more. Right in the plums! I gotta go help her. Oh, jump through the window? Oh, I'm going through the door. Go, go, go! I mean, she took care of them, but I killed them. Damn, she's savage. I didn't even need to do that. Miss all this? Come on, Arthur. Sadie's got my back, girl. Damn. Let's go. She knows what she's doing. What are you doing? Oh, how do I miss that? Come on. There you go. That's better. Jesus Christ, man. Watch out, girl. Get out of the way. Finally, jeez. Hate missing for no reason. On it. Whoa. I'll have to take just two. Why are they wearing masks? Get cover. Oh shit. Shit, 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 get cover. I need a tonic. I'm hitting him, but it's he's a bit far. There you go. What? I'm killing. Damn it. I'm running out of ammo. What he do? Look out. Oh, I ain't gonna be pleased, but let's get cowards. We okay? 
I think so. Except for Karen here. Ugh. Poor kid. Mr. Swanson, could you take this boy and bury him someplace near, but not too near? Of course. Charles, help me with the body. We need to get this place cleaned up. Mr. Pearson, Miss Grimshaw. Already taking care of it. Come on now, work. Como Driscoll. That man can really hate. So can I, Arthur. So can I. We need to get moving. Away from here. So we should start looking for another camp. You ain't thinking big enough, Arthur. You ain't seeing the vastness of our problems and our opportunities. I'm not sure I get you. You will, son. You will. Meet me near the trolley station. We got work. Shall we? Yep. Damn, we're gonna have to put an end to those O'Driscolls, man. He saved my life, and I could not save his. Mrs. Adler fought braver than any of us. She is driven by powerful forces I scarcely understand. That's what love has done to her, I guess. So we moving already? Not yet, I don't think, but... Horseman apocalypses. I did that pretty horribly, I'm not gonna lie. I didn't do anything. The boat before they disembark. Only sidearms. Alright, yeah, I totally mucked that one up. Anyway, uh, we have a mission for Dutch. And there's one actually in town. I think that might be part two of that, uh, that one mission. Way up north here. Eagle flies. Yeah, okay, that's, yeah, definitely. There's actually a rather expensive bounty for me in there. Alright, well, we'll deal with it and hopefully get over there. Alright, approaching Eagle Flies' is location. There he is. Okay, you can get rid of the marker. Thank you. What's up, man? How you doing? You came. Of course I came. Said I would. There's a foreman. His name is Danbury. There's the files in the office above the refinery room. It's that window with the blind drawn up. I see. If the files are as incriminating as we believe, Mr. Cornwall's men will destroy them if they know you're coming. There's only one of me, son. I don't intend for them to know I'm coming. What will the files say? There'll be a report from Leyland Oil Development Company. And you got the money? Yes. Any ideas how I sneak into this place? You could crawl under the fence or hide in a wagon. They keep rolling in. I'll go take a look. If there's a problem, call for me. I thought the whole point was that this had nothing to do with you. Ideally. If you are quick, you could climb into the back of that wagon. Go, go, go. There you go. That was easy. The train stopped us. And this rain might help us. It's a bit dark, so that might help us a lot. I'm guessing the downside to this bit is you'll be kind of right out in the open, but full stealth is what we're shooting for here. Although it could lead us right to the back door. Is that you, Al? Hey, Tom. Picking up? Yep. Supposed to meet the early train to San Denis. Okay. Better get a move on then. I'm 
gonna start loading up. I should probably get out of here. Before they start loading me up and seeing me there. Alright. All right, I'm gonna try and go through this bottom floor. Oh, easy, easy. All right, th where are my stairs? Go, go, go. Go. Don't let that guy turn around. There's my stairs. Go, he's the, he can't see me. Come on, baby. Please don't turn around. Just keep working, man. You're doing a great job. I'll be sure you get a raise. Okay, how are we doing up here? Is there anybody up here? Whoa. He's looking out the window. The machinery's pretty loud, but I don't want to take it for granted. There's a guy in here, isn't there? Hi. You must be damn Barry. Who? <clears throat> what? Quieten yourself, friend. This won't take long. Yes. I need some papers, my friend. Nothing important. A file. I'm from head office. You're not from head office? Does that seem important right now? No. I need a file by the Leland Oil Development Company. The one about the oil near Wapiti. I... I... Do I have to beat him? Yep. Danbury, think, man. The mind is a terrible thing to lose, especially over <laughs> such a nice <laughs> floor as this. I have to beat him. It's here. It's here. Where? Get it. Done good, Danbury. Real good. They'll give you a promotion for this. No, nope. Danbury. Danbury? Danbury, you okay? Tell the guard you're fine. Yes, it's just. I'm working. All's fine. Now stay quiet. Or head office will send me back to get you. All right, let's see if we can get out. Nice and quiet. He's gonna alert somebody, isn't he? Can we get out nice and- Hey, 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 hold it right there. What's up? on the ground and hands in the air. Easy now, fellas. Now, we won't tell you again. Let's get the hell out of here. God damn it. I missed that one. Damn it, I thought I targeted it. Come on. Fucking get him then. Oh my god. Whoa! Shit. YOLO. Let's drink a ball. Coming. Did you get the documents? Yeah, but we need to get the hell out of here. Let's go, let's go. So the eagle doesn't fly alone this time. Ah. 
Come on, die! That's annoying. Oh, you down. He down. Good. Good shooting, buddy. That explosion came just in time. I was happy to watch some of that oil burn. So you met Mr. Danbury? Yes, don't worry. He was very obliging. I thought you wasn't getting involved. Thought you were going to enter and leave silently. Thank you. You saved my life. Thank you. I hope. Well... I don't know what I hope, but who knows? Maybe these will be of some use. Here's your money. Thank you. Well, that went well. Sort of. Decent amount of cash. American Fathers. Let me guess. Don't use any health items. 80% accuracy. Kill all the horseback pursuers. Oh, well, I didn't. Apparently, he did. Almost got them all. Anyways, next mission is actually quite a ways away. Okay, fella. But uh, it's back at base, I believe. I just wanted to get that one done. Oh, we know there's. Oh, yeah, there's Dutch back at town. All right, well, let's see what we can get done. All right, so I gotta locate Dutchy. Don't really know where he is. Well, there he is. There you are. Come on. Keep walking. You're late. A couple of days in this place, you turned into some clock-watching city boy. What's the urgency? We need to leave. Forever. We've been doing well, making money. But for us all to leave together, we need enough for a boat. Now, I found a friendly ship captain. He's willing to take us to Australia or Tahiti. We just need to pay for passage and give him money for land when we get there. No questions asked. We will disappear. Be reborn. Well, where the hell is Tahiti? South Pacific. An untouched paradise. Who lives there? Tahitians, I guess. We made a bit of money on that riverboat job, but not enough for us to leave and live peacefully. Where's the rest coming from? In there. So we are gonna rob that place. Well, I didn't think we was fixing the plumbing. I don't know if you have noticed, but we are on the clock. I reckon we got a few days before the Pinkerton show, and then, well, we're done. Now, we need money. Bronte said this place has got money. Come on. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a robbery. Behave as I tell you, and none of you will die. Annoy me, and you all will. Now, remember, now, I'm going to need just everything you money. got on you. Don't make Stop. us kill you. Mr. M, leave these fine folks of their valuables. Mr. F, check that room back there. Give me everything you got on you. It's your choice. I ain't playing here. Okay. Fine, it's yours. Open that gate and let my acquaintance inside. That's not much money, dude. Come on. I said open the gate and let my acquaintance inside. What? Of course. There's nothing really here. You're sure? Yes. Then get out here and get ready for company. All of you, behave. We don't want to hurt any of you. Mr. M, check the safe. Sure. Open it. I don't think they keep much cash in there. Open it. That was awfully. There's almost nothing here. There should be stacks of cash in there. He told us there was. Look again. There's no stacks. A few dollars in coins. That's it. Damn. We got a problem. There's a ton of cops out there. It's a setup, man. Out. We got you surrounded. That's greasy son of a bitch. He set us up. You think? You seem like a good time for sarcasm to you, Arthur. We gonna do, gentlemen? Something. Out the back door. The trolley. The trolley. Follow me, gentlemen. Go now! Does this trolley go to Tahiti? I hope so. Sorry. How do they know it's me? Look out on the right. We got some in those alleyways, Arthur. Ain't up on that balcony. We got some riders on the left. 
I can't see him anymore. There you go. On it. I gotta use this. Switch sides. I got him. It's a bit broken. The thing's broke. Hold on! Dutch. This isn't good. Good night, fellas. Watch out. Got someone about me here. Damn it. They're still coming. Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. I need something long range. Which I don't have. Go, go, go! Who's the other guy? Oh, he's on the right. Now we're gonna get some serious shit for this. We already are. There you go. Go! Guy on our flank! There you go, let's go! That pose though, that's awesome! Cover! Right, R1! Cover! He won't get in cover! Jesus! Bam! I love these poses. These, like, seriously make with dope desktop backgrounds. Damn, this is ridiculous. Crap, dang, get cover. Get cover! I'm stuck! Go! Remedy. Jesus. Oh my god, that's driving me crazy. There you go. I don't know if there's anyone else. I was kind of looking for some. Okay, boss, let's move. I wish that was faster. How you doing there, boss? I'm okay. More coming in. Haul it. Don't damage that wagon. We need a Got him. Woo. Joe Lenny. You hear me? Damn it, it's so shaky. Oh, that's so annoying. He's just, it's just, yeah, oh my god, just kill him! 
Oh, that's ridiculous. He down. I'm on. I'm on. What's going on? For God's sake. Get on the fucking wagon. Go. I don't have any other weapons for whatever reason. Oh, I shot the horse. I'm sorry. Hold up. We ain't done yet. Ah. Oh, I shot him in the shoulder. Damn it, I think I got him. God, that's frustrating. Oh my god. There you go. He's down. Watch the front. So inaccurate. I'm sorry. Oh, I got to chug a tonic. I missed that one. We're gonna have to get out of dodge pretty soon. I'm on it. Yes! Continued free fire. Just keep going, kid. You okay back there? Don't worry about me. Just get us out of here. That's a pretty big bounty. Not as bad as Valentine. Valentine, I think, is 175. It is payable. I can't remember who whose tip was that? Keep going like this, man. It's just gonna end so badly for us. I think we're clear. You know what, Dutch? Next time, it's not damn discretion. Seemed like a good lead. I know, but... Well, we made it. <clears throat> thanks to you. Don't mention it. Yeah, you're a good kid. And we each got... $15. Oh, and a quarter. Don't forget the quarter. Shut up, Arthur. He set us up. <clears throat> Played me like a yokel. Put the law on us. What did we do to him? What did I do to him? I guess he thinks he's the king around here. He don't want the likes of you. So, what are we doing next, Dutch? We just need money. One more decent take, and we're gone. The bank is our bet. Hosea agrees. Even after that? Uh, especially after that. Uh, I don't feel so good. Now you just got a bash on the head. Come on. I'm taking you back to camp. Hey, you did real good there, Lenny. Just wish it could have turned out better. Well, can't win them all. Well, we got a small amount of money. Complete the mission without taking... I thought I did. Well, we did pretty good. Not, not too bad, anyway. Alright, so Dutch is just up here on the upper floor. Just wanted to have a little nappy nap first. Get fully rested. Killed the man in that bed, and you're sleeping in it. So, Arthur, you get the deciding vote. By what? We take an insult and scurry off like cockroaches? 
or deal with business the right way. We don't need to take revenge. We hardly know the guy. This ain't about revenge, Hosea. Angelo Bronte don't mean shit to me. This is about the fact we are planning to rob a bank in his town. A bank that he no doubt protects. A town where his men are gunning for us. Before we do that, we need to put him I out of commission. I disagree. There's always an easier way. There ain't no easier way. Now, I know his type. He is a vindictive little power broker who rules by fear. Now, we pull that stunt in his cesspit of a town. We're doomed. You want to leave this place? Leave this country? We need that money. I just don't feel good, Dutch. This is it. This is the last job that we are ever going to pull. Before the year is out, we are going to be harvesting mangoes in Tahiti. Oh. Farmers. But we need seed capital, and we need to leave. Yeah. You know it. I know it. Forgive me if I can't think too much about the mango harvest. This I'm... is it. Trust me. Arthur. If it's business, well, business is business. Angelo Bronte stands between us and our future. You'll damn us all. Arthur, come on. You better be right about this one. I am. This could be I bad. I've heard that before, and usually I've been right. Uh, if you say so. Quit doubting, Arthur. It does no favors. Come on. We need to go see a man about a boat. So I'm boat. guessing. We're headed to a settlement called Le Grave. I met a boatman there called Thomas who knows these waters like the back of his hand. Why do we need a boat? So we can attack Bronte's mansion from the swamp. Catch him off guard. He knows we survived the trolley station, so he'll be expecting some kind of reprisal. All right. Okay, makes sense. See? I do still possess some capacity for rational thought, Arthur. Come on, people, it's ready. Okay, follow me. I'm just gonna get a nice clean outfit. Wait a sec, hold on, let me get a clean outfit. No, wait, stop. Stop for a minute. Thank you. What? Protect there we go. Side back there. It ain't about sides. Feels like Hosea's. Carbiner Peter, what are we thinking? That and the bolt action. The rolling blow. Oh, that's a sniper, isn't it? Okay, good. Lost his spine. This move on bro Dante. Is it for the bank job or revenge for what happened at the trolley station? Both. Neither. What does it matter? We need to hit that bank. And Bronte has the police and just about everything else in San Denis in his back pocket. He also set us up. And lest we forget, took young Jack. I understand. We just got a lot of pots on the boil, given all the folks who's out gunning for us. You all seem to have forgotten how money is made and what it takes to support 20 people. Let alone what it takes to give 20 people a new life overseas. With all due respect, Dutch, is this Tahiti plan really going to work out? You tell me, Arthur. Is it? Have some goddamn faith. I am bending over backwards to make a future for us. I know, but... What? 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 Why did you become so small-minded? If you'd rather we break up the family, go our separate ways, just tell me. Of course not. This isn't a prison camp. I am not forcing anybody to stay. So either we're in this together, working together to get out together, or we're not. There simply isn't a reality in which we do nothing and get everything. I know. You're right. Just feels like we're on borrowed time again. I mean, the old Driscoll's found us. 
Yeah. We need to move. And soon. Haven't I made that clear? Anyway, here we are. Let me do the talking. All right, well. I worry that Dutch is getting his, his like, judgments Thomas. being clouded. It is good to see you, my friend. Hello, Mr. Dutch. Thomas, have you met Arthur? Arthur? Thomas is quite the boatman. He's going to help us get close to our prey. The other night, we had quite the adventure fishing for catfish. Now, my friend... Can I call in that favor? What do you need? You know Angelo Bronte. Well, exactly. We need to make a social call. We were hoping you could row us in quietly one evening around the back of his house. Well, if anyone can, I can. We'll pay you for your trouble. If you bringing him trouble, it won't be no trouble for me. Good. My business partner, Jules, he's out on the skiff. I need to check with him. Plus, I need to check the traps. Would you come with me? Of course. Arthur? Why not? Shouldn't take too long if we can find him. Be lively. Mind you, there's a lot of gators. Uncommon number. Big ones. Great. Come now, Arthur. It'll take more than a prehistoric reptile to scare you, Shirley. I just want to see you meet your match when it comes to a, an aging predator with a big mouth, Dutch. Arthur here is something of a comedian, Thomas. More of a jester than a gunslinger. Well, if you say so, Mr. Dutch. This way. Come on, this way. Follow me here. And stay on the high ground. You call this ground? It feels like water to me. Down here, we can't be too picky there, Mr. Arthur. Got a couple of crayfish traps up ahead. Oh man, we don't have the boots for this. Mr. Dutch, you keep a lookout for company. Mr. Arthur, check the traps with me. I see movement. Can you please check the other one for me, Mr. Arthur? Yeah, I got it. Watch a gator come and attack me. This one's empty. Alright. I got a few more set over this way. Come on. I don't want to know what just touched my leg. Mr. Dutch, you show you the right fellas to be going after Angelo Brunty? Oh, he's much more the kind of reptile I can handle. There's going to be a gator attack, isn't there? Now stay close. Make sure you follow my line. Oh, I fully intend to, Thomas. You too, Mr. Arthur. I'm with you. You can see why even in swamp waiting hasn't caught on as a pastime, can't you? I love it out here. Peaceful. Nobody bothering you now. Except for the night folk sometimes. The night folk? Yep, some strange people around these parts. Wider than the animals they are. Well, this just gets better and better. Be a lot tougher to do this with a uh, heavy coat on like that, especially when it gets wet. Whoa. Stop where you are. It's a gator. Just stay as still as you can. He just disappeared. I got another trap by that small island up here. I don't know what's taking Jules so long with that boat. He's dead, I isn't he? We are all equally keen to find him. Little X, right? Whoa. See that? Stuck in the mud. It happens. Ugh. 
Oh, it scared me. Guess something didn't want to be caught. My God. So it's true. What is? There's been talk of a big old bull, but people talk a lot of nonsense. I guess this was... No, but only some huge could do this. Oh. Fantastic. Let's hope it bites you first, Dutch. Should we just keep moving? I don't really want to hang around here much longer. I... I suppose this can wait. Let's go. Something's gonna attack us, whatever he's talking about. It's nice to be on a bit of high ground, though. Hold up. I see him. Three gators. One for each of us. <laughs> Man, you see the one in the front? Look how fast it's going. My God, there's no shortage of them. Good eating. Us or them? Exactly. Come on. We really should have run into jewels by now. I reckon we should split up so we can search both sides. That seems okay. like a terrible Why idea. Is this a Jew appear, so at home here, you take the right. We'll go left. What? Just keep your eyes open. I don't really want to go this route, but I have to. I see something in the distance. I see, like, movement in the water. I'm going to stick to, like... See how there's, like, a bit of an island? I mean, I think it's just reflection, but... There seem to be some bits that are higher than others. I was trying to keep an eye out for gators. Almost there. Oh god. Hey! Someone there? We're going to find him half eaten. No. Let's see if we can see a boat. Hey. Someone there? Not seeing anything. Usually they're in the center. Of the spot, but it's so dark. Man, that thing that... The thing that he was talking about, that's what ate him. Hello? I'm heading to this island. Hey! Someone there? Wait. There he is there. Fair okay. enough. Yeah. And uh, where'd this monster swim off to? I think that way. Good luck shooting that thing. You'll need a cannon. Is, is this like a legendary creature that we can hunt? Most likely. Stop! 
Got it loose. Come. Good man. All right. Let's get back to the dock. Yes, please. Let's go. Thank God. So, uh, who are these fellas, Thomas? Two new friends of mine. I'll explain later. Jules, we are very happy to have finally made your acquaintance. I thought I was gonna be out here all night. What you doing hiding up in the tree, boy? This gator was huge, Thomas. Twice as big as I ever seen. Twice as angry, too. Nonsense. Whoa! Well, what? I think we hit a tree stump. Yeah, I thought we cleared. You're gonna need to jump in and pull us free. Me? Yeah, just do it. Won't take you a minute, boy. Go on. This is a bad idea. <laughs> You'll see any giant monster <laughs> long before it gets anywhere near you. Got a couple of crack gunslingers here with the guns loaded. You'll be fine. You didn't see the thing. Yeah, neither did you. It's just a myth, Jules. Now pull. Did it break? Whoa! Jules? Shit. He won't kill No, I'm going in. No, no, we can't lose the boat. Arthur will go. Well, quick. Damn it! Hurry, Arthur. Hold on, Jules, I'm coming. Damn, man, this I'm going as fast as I can. Jules! Where'd he go? What the hell is Jules? There he is! Hold on, buddy, I'm coming! I'm coming! Come on, man, I'm running out of stamina! Please don't disappear. I'm coming, Jules. Mike! I got you, Sim. I got you. Uh, Let's go. Oh, he's bleeding. That's going to draw him. Guts. Shoot something. Oh, my God. Oh my god, it's like Lake Placid up here, bitch. Go, man. Oh, his poor foot. Come on. Come on. Oh my god, I'm going. I'm tired. Oh. Oh my god, let me in! Jesus. Thing is gigantic. That's the biggest gator I've ever I think seen. He's going, Shit, that is one big old gator. Oh, your boy doesn't look too good there. Here, take this. Try to stop the bleeding. You're gonna be okay, son. You're gonna be okay. Just thank your old Uncle Dutch. I heard that. Poor kid. There's still a lot of blood. You need to put pressure on it. On it already. I've stopped the bleeding. I think you'll be okay. 
If he don't get a fever, he's got to clean that fever. A fever is the least of our worries. Oh my God, it's back! God damn it! Where'd he go? Won't well, let me target him. He's under the water. Coming right for you. Won't well, let me target him. It's so annoying. Dude, we're so fucked. Where'd he go? Okay. I think it's had enough. Don't say that. Jesus. Can we get back now? <sighs> You're gonna be okay, kid. <sighs> Sorry, Jules. Guess all them stories was true. <sighs> Big and bad. That's unusual. Normally the little one's angry. Big ones is lazy. <sighs> I guess he never outgrew his anger. Kind of reminds me of you, Arthur. You know, I don't think I've ever seen you squeal before, Dutch. <laughs> I weren't the one squeal. Yeah, well, you weren't in the water with him. And this poor boy was nearly dinner. <laughs> Can we get some help? Uh, Jules has been bitten. Uh, oh, my God. There's a monster out here. Uh, he's been bitten, but he's alive. Uh, Just keep him warm. Uh, Feed him garlic for the infection. Thank you. Both of you. I'm at your service anytime you need. Thank you, Thomas. Where can we find you? You just meet me back here. Very good. Can one of you help me put the boat back out? Sure. I'm gonna head back to camp and placate the irritable Miss O'Shea, who's causing more trouble. I'll collect the boys. Meet you back here, Arthur. <clears throat> Mr. Arthur? <clears throat> Old Bronte. A bad man. I don't know. Killed some good folks. Hurt a lot of people. Well, he definitely lacks a certain charm. I'll see you soon. You be safe. You got monsters out here. Well. Well, all right. That was pretty good. Let me guess. Find him and... Yeah, to the skip within one minute. I tried. Dude, I tried that. I was going as fast as possible. <laughs> All right, so let's get this done, yeah? Would be paradise. We ready to Arthur, do this? There you are. Come on. Thomas, let's get going. Right you are. <laughs> hey, Bill, you were a sharpshooter in the cavalry, weren't you? What? When we get there, maybe you could help with the suppression fire. I never said I was no sharpshooter. Oh, that's right. W what was it? The nation's most loyal latrine digger, wasn't that it? <laughs> yeah, well, I fought, and I fought well. So you always tell us. You taught me something you could do with learning. Uh, Them Indians were savages. Watch your mouth there, boy. Watch it. Only type of savage in these parts a moonshine, swilling, pompous, inbred locals. Dutch, I saw things out there. I don't doubt you saw things, Bill, but your tiny little mind was too small to comprehend what you saw. What you saw was people who lost everything to savagery, savagery of peasants. Failures come from Europe to reap some awful vengeance on God's last creation. Interesting way you boys got to prepare for a killing. I'm sorry I wasted my life trying to teach you boys. Love you though, I do. <clears throat> well, like leaving love aside, I... <coughs> you think we got this? Don't you never leave love aside, Arthur. It's all we got. Pick us up yonder. I got you. Thank you. Good luck to you. All right, here we go. Come on, quick. Stay quiet. Oh, come on. You're going to force me over here? Come on. Uh, 
Lenny. Bill, you're with me. Arthur, John, you take the left side. If you see a shot, you take it. Got okay. it. Good luck, Jim. Arthur, let's go. Come on, John, be quick. <clears throat> let's go. Find some cover. Two up ahead. Let's stealth that. Shit, he's facing. Oh, come on. You joking? Shit, man. I wasn't ready for that. It won't. For God's sake, man. Who else we got? Hold up. Damn, yeah. Take your time, one shot at a time. Anybody else? We're good. Copy that. Alright, let's whip out the uh, sawed off. Shoot that lock, Arthur. What are you doing? Oh, okay. Good. Now kick that damn door in. Oh, sorry. Kick it. I don't want to do this. I, I meant to hit, I meant to kick it. I'm apparently breaking it. Come on, let's get in there. Look out. Target these clowns. Jesus. Seems like a good weapon to use. Sup? Whoa. Hurry up! Wait for him, wait for him. He's in the other room. Good night. Woo! Out the window, dude. That's awesome. Hold on, I'm at. Oh, wait. No, let's hold off. Actually, I'm just gonna take the health item. A little bit of everything. Check upstairs. It's not down here. Quick, quick, quick. Right. He's got it. Hey, hey. Did I find him? Oh, God, son. Hey. Oh. Okay, okay. I'm sorry, friend. I, I, no, name your price. Name your price. Every man have a price. Eh? Okay, okay. No, I surrender. I surrender. I... Should we kill him? Nah, let's take him to Dutch. You can carry him. I I'm gonna loot him first. Piece of shit. I could have made that, man. I didn't need to take my, uh, take from the rich. Be sure to loot his body. See, that's a trophy for that one. That was funny. I think Dutch wants to have a little chat, Mr. Bronte. He had 160 bones just on him. Go! Out the back for kidnapping. What a long shot. It was nice. Come 
But he has money, that's the difference. It's corrupt. Can't see him. I'll just have to go with those two. Come on. Someone else will get him. How is he still alive? There you go, that's better. Let's go. I'm on it. Put him in the front. Bill, you help. You got him? Oh, come on, Lenny. Does Lenny need help? All right, come on. Let's get out of here. Yep. Oh. Hey, big man, we gonna ransom you or what? Well, I am. Because from where I'm sitting, you're the one deserving of pity, my friend. <laughs> all your men, all your money, it weren't no match for a bunch of bumpkins. You are nothing. You do nothing, you mean nothing, you stand for nothing. Me, I run a city. <laughs> And when the law catch up to you, you will die like nothing. I am this country. You, you, you are what people are running from. I possess things that you will never understand. You don't even possess your own men. A thousand dollars to the man who kills him and sets me free. What are you gonna say now? They are even bigger fools than you. No doubt. The law will find you. Already, the dogs are on the way. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're right. You are so right. They are good at smelling filth, huh? So oh. filth has got to be disposed oh. of. Our friends of oh. the are going to come and rescue you, you oh. repulsive little maggot. Oh. 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 Call them now. You call them! Jesus! Part of your philosophy books cover feeding a fellow. The goddamn alligator, Dutch! The part that covers weakness. That part. I don't know. Well, I do. It ain't nice. I know it. But it is us or him. I figure it might as well be him. Honestly, I'd say that's a fitting end for that guy. He's a dick. I was hoping we'd feed him to the, the fabled gator, but any gator will do. All right, fellas. Jim, look, the bank, Karen, Tilly, Abigail, I sent them all. They all say the same thing. There's no more than one armed guard. And the police, it's a city, there are police, but as far as we can tell, the patrols will all be going this way when Abigail and I cause the diversion. That's the opportunity. What do you think, Arthur? I don't see we have a lot of choice. We linger around here, we know we're dead. But the plan? We got a decent bunch. We know how to fight. The city cops don't seem so tough as long as we move fast. I reckon doing it in the day with a distraction. If that's what Jose is saying. It's as good a plan as any. I, I think I agree. Can we do it at night? There's the dram of just getting into the bank. Can't do that silently. No, pick us off far easier. I know. I'm. I'm just making sure. Every plan is a good plan if we execute it properly. Every problem we had was because we did not 
execute properly. Even Blackwater, from my understanding. You're right. Let's rob this bastard. Everyone get some rest. We ride out in the morning. Look smart. Travel light. You got everything, Arthur? Sure. So, we rob ourselves a bank, and within six weeks we're living life anew in a tropical idol, spending the last of our days as banana farmers. Let's get out of this godforsaken place and go rob ourselves a bank! <laughs> <laughs> Repping the gentlemanly look. This should be good, man. Hopefully for a big take, too. This is it, gentlemen. The last one. Where have we heard that before? What has happened to you, John? You lost all your heart. I'm just trying to stay real about all this. Real? Oh, how I detest that word. So devoid of imagination. How soon are we shipping out? Soon as we get a passage organized. Boat down to Argentina. Then another around the cape. What about the money in Blackwater? We're just gonna leave that behind? Forget that. It's gone. You all talk like it's the only goddamn money in the world. We're gonna take that and more. Take it from the people who take it from us. This isn't some hick town hundred dollar operation. This is a big city bank. Right. With security, guards, police. Hosea has done his reconnaissance. We've been over this. The plan. One last time. Hosea and Abigail draw out the police. We go in calm and fast. John and Lenny secure the front doors. Javier takes the side exit. Bill, Micah, and Charles control the crowd. Me and Arthur deal with the bank manager and vault. Got it? Got it. Yep. Got it. Good. All right, that's enough talk. Gentlemen, let us go ahead. How long do you need? Not long. Fifteen minutes or less. You'll know by the noise. Any problems? We'll see you in camp. Good luck, gentlemen. Right on. Yeah. Everybody know the drill. We head in hard. Stay calm. They won't be expecting us. Any minor trouble, head back to camp. We'll leave in a few days. You good, Bill? Sure. Then right on with Charles. We don't want to be seen heading in like some posse of country outlaws. This is it, cowboys! One more time! Well, one more time. Let's ride! Hey! Alright, let's do it. Dude, I can't wait. But, I mean, these things never end well. So... I wouldn't be surprised if things went south. But if it does work, man, that payday is going to be sweet. Calmly does it, fellas. Act normal. Catch up here. Gentlemen, robbing thieves, crime at all. Sure, folk like this, they stole what this country could have been. Stay cool, fellas. Well, I need a weapon. The repeater. Wait for Hosea to do this thing. This, this had better work. Looks like there's law over the other side. Have a modicum of faith, John. Will you please? Soon as we get out, load everything onto the wagon here. Whoa! <laughs> I love that. <coughs> He's a true artist. 
Nice big distraction. Okay, masks on, gentlemen. Let's go. You. Okay. Now then, Arthur, would you please have Senior Bank Manager here open up the vault? Open the vault. Come on. Stick to the plan, Arthur. Oh my God. All right. Same thing. Passed it. Got it. I got it. Shut up. Take it. What about the big ball? Come on, let's go. Wait a minute. Okay. There's more. What about this? I only opened one of the vaults. It looked like the smallest one. Pinkerton. Someone must have squealed. Never should have gone after Bronte, Dutch. Mr. Milton? <clears throat> Let my friend go. Or folks, they are gonna get shot unnecessarily. Your friend? <laughs> Why would I do that? Come on, Milton. It's over. No more bargains. No more deals. Mr. Milton, this is America. You can always cut a deal. I've given you enough chances. Come on! Open fire. Pinkertons, you sacks of shit. Come on. Just those two. Come on! Hold them back! I got an idea! What? Just Wait a minute, wait a minute, what's going on? No cover! Hold up, I need to drink some snake oil. Dude, that'll be sick! Woo! There's one guy in the front, I see him. BAM! More cover- look at all of these guys! Hold up!
Go, go, go! There's no way that we're getting out that door. What do you reckon? Copy that. Okay. More that pick it up. Go. Hold up. Go, go, go. What are you stuck on? Go. Oh my god. Copy that. I'm on it. Damn, Hosea, man. What if it was Hosea? What if Hosea's wearing like a bulletproof vest or something? We don't know if he's dead. Hosea was the one who's talking a lot about not doing this anymore. Switch to the repeater. Oh shit, no, get over. Here they come. Cover, cover. Fuck off. Oh, that's so irritating when you miss like that. He's down. It's not going to kill him. Oh, I missed out on that guy. Damn, that was alright. We still got one shot. He's down. Where is everybody? What's going on down there? We lost control of the bank. The others are trying to hold them off. I need more of this. Snake oil. Damn it, I'm trying to hit his face. Go, that's good. One more for his head. Wait, that's it? Damn, this is insane. Arthur! We lost John. Killed? Arrested. I couldn't help. Well, we better go. We'll be next. What you think? I reckon me and Lenny try to find a way across the roofs. If you'll cover us. Sure, sure. Go on. Come on, Lenny, let's go. Lenny! No! He's dead! Oh god, no! There's nothing we can do! We gotta keep moving! Fuck! Poor Lenny! We gotta get going, man! Ah! One at a time. Arthur, you go next. Copy. Gotta keep moving. Quick and quiet. Come on. You're okay. I'm going. I don't believe it. 
They knew we were coming. Just like your ferry job in Blackwater. Ain't nothing like that. What now? I don't know. I don't. This whole town is filled with cops. Well, how long are we gonna stay here? Well, a few hours? We go back to camp? They're gonna get every last one of us. I know they're gonna be watching the roads. I got it. A boat. What you mean? We stay here till nightfall. Then we sneak on down to the docks. We get ourselves out of here. Yeah, where? Any place will do. That's all I got. We leave. We lie low. We come back for the rest in a few weeks. I'm guessing it's that. Will we die out there right now? Exactly. Now, everybody, calm down. I mean, oh, look at us. Okay, follow me and keep your heads down. They're still searching for us. Easy does it. Someone's coming. Guard to the left. Stay low. Damn, this is intense. Someone's coming. Duck. You can see dots right there. Hey, I already checked the trains. You did? No more than a quarter hour ago. Are you sure? Sure. Thank God for that assuming, Lawman. All right, then. Come on. Where's everyone else? Shit, stop, Arthur. Oh, damn it. We're never gonna get past these fellas. Arthur, head over to the water. See if you can draw them out. Draw them out? How? I don't know. Make a noise. Whistle or something. All right, I'm on it. Ah, uh, the bell. Or oh, is that a bell? No. Jenkins, is that you? Shit. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. We're good. Everyone stay down and keep quiet. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> See them? 
Sure. What you think? I don't know. They're watching for us. Maybe. Maybe not. Well, they ain't just waiting there for no reason. Yeah, let me think for a second. I'll deal with them. What? How? I can't kill all of them silently. So, when they chase me, you go the other way. What are you talking about? You heard what I said. Damn it! Oh, I like it. Real brave. What in the hell? Who is... Excuse me! Buddy! Hey, stop! Stop, stop! That is one of the most beautiful acts I ever saw. Come on. But what about... What about Javier? What are you going to do for him? Or was that Charles? Oh, that was Charles, not Javier. Sorry, that's Charles. some gold I'm sure this boat ain't going to Tahiti by any chance I don't know John Lenny Jose that wasn't good I know so what are we gonna do now <coughs> guess I'm gonna introduce myself to the captain give him some of this gold to secure his silence and find out where we're heading how do I look like a shifty, no good killer on the run from the law. Ain't that the truth? <clears throat> Excuse me, sir. Hey, who are you? Forgive me. A stowaway. Can I see the captain, please? I come in peace. <sighs> well, it's gonna take a little more gold, but I think we're gonna be okay. This captain, he is a, a fine fella. A New Englander from the Cape. The rest of the ship is Frenchmen. They're heading down to the islands, taking some Pennsylvania coal. Now, apparently, we're going to be able to slip ashore in northern Cuba in a couple of days. That's so. Apparently. What about everybody else? What are we going to do in Cuba, Dutch? Hold up for a while, then hurry back, gather up the rest of our family. At least we got some money now. Money? And loyalty. With that, you can do whatever you please. So you reckon they'll follow us to Cuba? Like Colonel Waxman on a jolly? I highly doubt it. I reckon we hold ourselves to ourselves, and this is done and dusted. Let's hope so. I ain't no sailor, but, uh... <clears throat> that cloud looked like good news to you. Oh, God damn it! 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, do me a favor, hit that like button. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you haven't yet, be sure to like and follow my pages on social media, facebook.com slash danku8000 for live streams and other content. Twitter, danku8000, Instagram, danku8000, and Snapchat, danku8000. If you want to get yourself a shirt or hoodie, link in the description. If you want to save 10% off your next DX racer, link in the description. Be sure to use the promo code danku8000 at checkout. All right, guys, thank you so much again. Take it easy. Have a wonderful day. I'll be seeing you soon for more content, but until then, let's hand things over to Knox Hill. Have a good one, guys. Who the man with the plan? Hmm. If you feel trouble, wild and wild, no need violent and hit you 8,000. Wait a minute, hold that stylist style, Dan. Goddamn, Billy Jack, we still riding tires flat. I hear them sirens, sea shots flying, so we driving fire back. If they ain't vibing, lie with that. Got me dressed up in all black. What up? Hood up, and I see them haters try to run with us, they don't need inhalers. Gotta breathe them hard just like the beta players. Grab your respirators, night invaders get life savored. Mass on for the shooters, move like trash. To bed intruder, got that Glock and got them woofers. Just press play, I'll keep it moving. Who is Knox? Still, you damn fools. Keep it fresh like canned food. There ain't nothing we can't do, so tune into that damn kill. Yeah, it was never, ever a game.